We are gradually coming to a, to the end of the interview, but mm. before we leave, there are critical issues that we must discuss. One of them is the issue of nepotism. Mm. It is right there at the moment. It is, and it's something you can see it oozing out. To continue, you can see it oozing out in what the government does. Now, for me, once again, I'm sorry, I have to be making reference to the fact that I'm a lawyer. I take pride in the fact that I'm a man of honor. Certainly, I've held public office before, public offices before. I have never been found wanting in whatever I do. Now, I can't imagine myself becoming president of Nigeria tomorrow and then be found to be discriminating. Even if I'm not a lawyer, to be discriminating against Nigerians after I've sworn on the constitution, after I've put my honor on the line to do well to all manners of people, irrespective of their, 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 their language, their tribe, their religion, their creed, their ethnic grouping. No, I won't do that. The moment you begin to do that, you now create a problem for your government and you create a problem in your country. Because what will happen is that you now create a feeling of inferiority and superiority complex within the general citizenry. Some people will say, okay, because the president is from our state, is from our region, then we will now have opportunities more than others. People will begin to say, oh, because the president is my uncle, or he's my, he's my cousin, or he's my uh, godfather, so I should get undeserved opportunities. I will never allow that. And anybody who will do that in my government will be shown the, the way out immediately. And once again, I say I have the courage. I have the courage to do that. It's all about leadership. It's all about leadership. It's all about leadership. Lead. It's all about leadership. But certainly, I will not allow that kind of indecent practice from anybody in my government when I become the president. No way.